Hi, I'm Isabel, an artist and instructor at the Bainbridge Island Museum of Art, here with another Art in Action. Today we'll be creating a paper mask. For this project, uh, making masks, you're going to need uh, scissors, big scissors and little scissors, pencil, ruler, white cardstock, and some kind of white glue, like Elmer's glue. Throughout history, masks have been worn in ceremonies and rituals. They're worn for disguise, entertainment, performance, and protection. When we put on a mask, we can feel lifted and transported to new places. Hidden behind our masks, we can travel in secret. So the first thing you need to do is take a piece of car stock and we're going to divide it equally in four. Then you need to find uh, two circles to draw around. Um, so I've got a large salad plate and a little saucer. You get the first plate and you put it in the middle. You can just eyeball it, just line it up. So you've got equal amounts, top and bottom, and draw around it. And you put the sauce at top and bottom. Like this. What we're doing here is we're going drawing, and this is a way to draw an oval. Um, so now we can. We're just going to add a couple of lines and to make it into an oval here. And we're going to cut it out. Now you've got your oval. The next thing you need to do is we need to position our eyes, nose and mouth. A good way to do this is if you can get a friend to help you, hold it up to your face and point out where your eyes and nose and mouth are. Or you can do it yourself, hold it up to your face and mark where your eyes the bottom of your nose and your mouth is. So I've just got a rough mark where everything is going to be. Then you um, draw in the eyes. You can decide if they're going to be a round or if they're going to be an oval shape. I'm going to make mine oval. And you need about an eyes the same um, size as the eye between the two eyes. And I'm going to put the mouth in. And for the nose, I'm just going to put a line across where I've marked. What we're going to create is a, we need to create a place for our nose to pop out like this. So um, you make it about the same length either side of the central line. And then you take a line from the corner of your eye down to this mark here. But we're, we're going to cut along this line, but we're going to leave a gap between the top of the nose and the corner of the eye. Then we're going to cut these shapes out. This is where you might need the smaller scissors. So for the, for the nose, use the uh, tip of your scissors and put it in. And we're just going to cut along this line to the other mark. It's quite hard to turn a corner, so I recommend starting at the top of the other one. Now we have the flap for the nose. You can fold it up to show. And we want the, the mask to be um, shaped round so it will go around our face. So we're going to put these pleats into the paper. And so I'll show you how to do that. If you get your ruler, um, you need um, a mark an inch down on the middle line at the top and bottom. Then you need two just across from the corner of the mouth. So I'm just going to put a mark where I'm going to draw them. And you need two more just above the eye. So like here and here. And then I'm going to cut along those lines in each place. 
And you can either erase the lines or just flip your mask over because there are no lines on there. And you get your white glue and um, you need some clothes pins or any kind of clips that's going to help you help the um, like this will help the pleats stick while they're drying. So you take each each slit and we're going to put glue along one of the edges like this. And then you gently, gently cross it over like that. You don't need to push it too hard. And then use the clip to hold it in place. And you're going to work around the mask with each one. And then you can leave that to dry. And while you're waiting, you can start thinking about how you're going to embellish it. Um, we can build out over the nose and you could think about things hanging from it um, and so now we're done with the mask making I'm going to show you some um, paper um, techniques for folding and pleating. Here are some techniques that you could use on your mask. The, these pieces of paper are curled around a pencil so if you cut a strip of paper and then you wrap it around a pencil you just tuck the end in and you wrap it really tightly, push it together and then you pull it off. You'll create these curls which you can then attach to your mask wherever you want them. They can make hair or decoration. These long strands are made in a similar way to a, a paper doll. So if you take a strip of paper Fold it equally in half. And in half again. And in half again. And then, if it's easier to draw it on, but you need a connection at each side of the fold. And get your scissors and cut that out. Then you open it back out and it will be, all be connected. So you can make any shape that way, stars, hearts, or anything. And then you could attach those onto the bottom of your mask. To make um, these leaves, I've used a scoring technique. And then you take the blade of your scissors and you run it along the middle of the shape, just gently, just scoring it. And then you can fold it on, shape it around the scoring like this. And then, it, then it will hang nicely on the mask. To make these eyelashes, you cut a piece of, a narrow piece of paper the same length as the eye. And then we're going to cut fringes into it. So I'm not cutting all the way through, I'm just stopping short. And then you, if you get your scissor blade again, and you're going to run it through the scissor lightly. You can keep going, making it curly, and kind of push it the way you want it to. And then you could add it onto your mask. It could be a beard, it could be around the eyes, it could be hair. To make these curls, um, this is a way that you can do with when you're wrapping up presents with ribbon, but you have a thin strip of paper. And using the scissor blade again, you hold onto it at one end and you run it over the blade. And you can do it more than once to make the curls. This bit up here is concertina folding, which is where you um, cut the shape you want, and then you fold it, fold it one way, and then you fold it the same distance back the other way. And you just keep going. And then you've got a little fan and then you can think about where you want that on your mask. 
it could be coming out of the side. Or it could make a headpiece on your mask. So the, you keep going and what's beautiful about white paper is it starts to look like it's almost carved the more layers of paper you put on. You can also paint your papers beforehand um, and then fold it into the mask. Or you can get very detailed and this was um, water, water soluble markers that I drew with and then I added water on and, and um, added on layers on top. So ha have fun and be creative and um, once you start working with the paper and folding it and ripping it, um, I'm sure you'll invent your own ways of decorating the mask. Thanks for watching. Feel free to share any work inspired by this project. Until next time, it's art in action.